and we'll occasionally see stuff but, like I'm much more scared of Joker's aerials, not just because of the damage, but because of the base and the like. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely adds into the into the fear factor. But right now we're getting the run back of Arrow versus Super Dan. Looks like, like he's feeling ignition. So he was a little bit like mad at things from the last set because of all of those up smashes. But like he started this game off strong, and just because he's been on a tear in the previous set, he. Uh, He's got this like mental boost. He's certainly feeling good. Yeah, I, I want to see more of those moves. And this matchup is really important to space properly in the air. Because uh I mean Mario's oh, nice. options are nice jump? Yeah. Oh, well I mean oh. But um did he stop the distance or was he just dead no, to begin with? Okay. Uh yeah, it doesn't really stop the distance. The yeah, no, don't move. Nasty, but... Exactly, but that doesn't funny this. And that's like anything that hits it. Yeah. That could be a counter, that could be a counter. I see what you mean. He was ready to punish the uh, fair came down with the air next up. Exactly. Again, um, the air in general is just a much better move for him. And since Mario's approach options are even better go for it. Just dodge completely out of dodge. He's been jumping from ledge mode. Okay. But, okay, maybe Earl's still a little bit upset if they off smash as he like kind of his left there. Yeah, I mean, he's still, still he's still he's still playing hot, like. The jello probably wouldn't have worked right there because of uh, how close he was to the ledge. Yeah, I would have flicked him off. Yeah, exactly. But uh, again, as I was saying, Nair is so important in the ledge because if you notice, um, Mario's well, toe choppers are horizontal. He wants to get in with. Uh, Bear. With back air, he wants to get in with like. Even his falling uh, uppers end up in front of you. So Nair covers in the air and it also covers the ground. It's so like little and you like that you can kind of do it in space on your hop like that. Okay, if he turned around and did a full hop up there, that was a stop deletion. This is. Oh, that would have still seen. A B. Nah, it's damage, but like. He loses some of his juggle afterwards. Who wants the damage though? I understand. Exactly. He doesn't have an air dodge. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have a jump. Ooh, he, he had to. With the down air. He had to press the button to get out of there. And nice. Okay. Really, really good. Much less commitment than the up smash, and like multiple directions of air dodge were covered because that short hop upper covers the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rage. I love that up smash. Tank chasing, getting that down throw, and just juggling. A lot of juggling right now. Oh. And again, um. I respect that uh, that it's nice a lot because if you notice, uh, Earl has been doing that a lot out of, uh, a lot of his advantage when when he's trying to to follow up uh, with the juggles, he, like passes in and back. So Super Dan caught onto that and a little like recall of the uh, of the flash, just positioned himself properly to be able to get it. It was almost like a flawless stop from Dan, but uh, man, right? yeah, do the thing, do the zero percent combo, do the forty percent combo, do the set. Yeah. Good for the next one. He's As been. It's by the book, Mario. Yeah, I mean, the things that it. They, they are so safe. Yeah. If, if they don't hit your shield, even it's Lucina. So hard to punish. Uh, even Lucina having big old sword normals. Mario pulls back really far, and it's pretty safe on shield. If he spaces it right, he is doing it. Exactly. And, approach, and that makes it harder to approach him laterally. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you approach him vertically, you're scared of the F smash. Joker. Definitely. Joker. 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 I don't think I've seen his Joker. I, um... Yellow Joker! Oh! That's not, that's not bad. I was, I was about to say, like, a lot of people don't like him. You know what I mean? You should leave him in the house. Oh, I like... I like Muscat Girls, really. Oh, no. Uh, Rose's there. There's some Muscat There's some Muscat Girls. Oh, no, I'm thinking Banana Pepper Girls are. Yeah. That, that cost him. I mean, Black and Yellow is definitely... Like, you know how it is. Hey. Joker definitely becomes scarier because a couple of times he's going into a new game. Look at that, another bad guy. Oh, that jump is the other guy. Oh, interesting. Uh, fire. A gun, A gun. Yeah. Okay. A gun, uh, A gun is uh, with. Uh, okay, yeah. With uh, fireball flying with it. That's. Good. It didn't even explode. That's good to know. Oh, okay. So, like, A gun and A gun, they just don't have any priority. You know how. Uh, how. Oh, back up. Or in the uh, didn't have any priority and you can, like, beat it with anything? That's exactly the spirit of time. Does it gain priority once it hits the ground and, like, gets big? Yeah. I mean, okay. the things that, like, it's just. Constantly, it's kind of like a arc fight. Gotcha. Yeah, so you have to. Do it. A lot of oh my god, Dan, please! 
Okay, like, in Smash 4, my favorite thing was going back air, back air, back air. This time, I'm not landing with the back air. I am going to do a uh, Tomahawk run, run through the pivot grab. Remember, Smash 4, you could run through people's bodies. Oh, I, I respect that wrong. How wrong is that back air would have definitely killed him. You know, that mix up in this game, but, like, that was, that was fun people anyway, so. And I was gonna get that back air, but it's a disadvantage. That back air was not killed, though. And I don't think that at all, actually. So do we have like a hmm. gonna get back into the stage? Joker down throw yet? Yeah. Especially the ridge. I'm sorry. So much ready. Uh, I'm gonna run through this. And yet, spot, at 140%, 190, a lot of things would kill would have killed from either character. Still an upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have to not kill him just yet. Joker has a really hard time killing when it's not with us yet. And that's something that uh so Pearl had the percent lead for a long time, but he didn't have a way to seal the stop. I, if he's like looking into the future with his Joker, I think it's a good choice, especially because the next major battle patch is probably going to happen until Terry. Yeah, and uh, I mean, oh my goodness, he doesn't have a Joker. Um, so we know you're gonna get some. You're gonna get some W's because of the little So if anyone wants to pick them up, it's goodbye choices. The thing with Joker and Korean Skinner playing right now is that his his advantage rate is incredible, but he's a little bit too much. He's like wanted to get like rid of that stuff way too early. And um, wait, with Joker, you have so many options to just oh. run around your opponent and, and, and his buttons in terms of like ground and stuff, they're, they're not so great. So the more he puts his buttons on, uh, on to the dance shield, the, the more vulnerable he is. And that's exactly what we saw in the first stop and why he was able to get a... Uh, it also takes some stuff. It also takes some time for Joker to get like the uh, landing fair one setups. They're not especially oh, hard, but finding ways to set that up in neutral. You know? Like once you get the first hit of the... And not be, and not be too telegraphic. Exactly. Like the, the first hit of the air, uh, is... The, the confirm is easy. Once you get the first hit of air, you can drag down and do the thing, and it's it's not hard to get. But, uh, I mean, to do. But getting that first hit of uh, air is a really difficult thing yeah. because it's not safe. Oh, I I understand entirely. Kirby has a very good fair one to F smash that kills at like 70, 80, but like. I'm slow. My air mobility isn't great. I still have to do 30 frames to do it in fast fall. It's like. a little cute pink ball that suffers from low tier. I He's got good of a lot of things, but his advantage is non-existent. If I could chase people by jumping after them, that would be cool. Oh, that'd be insane. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm very optimistic about low tiers, so you can't be crazy, but I believe he's a critical enemy. So if he gets something major to his stats that changes, he'll be okay. Sweet choice just to present into a couple of 56% in a matter of 10 seconds. But yeah, it's hard. Short hop, a uh, short hop fastball stuff, especially if you're, like, not super fastballing. Yeah. It's tricky now. What I'm getting from Lionel oh, is just desperation. Yeah. The like, when, when you go to characters like that, you, you, you get sense. Lucina should be the pick here, but something's like about the player matchup is not clicking, and he's trying to find a way to bridge the gap. Maybe with other characters, but like that's what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, and like the three of his characters are incredibly good. So he tries to, and it, if he finds a solution with his phone, because he tried to put up that of that. Scary. In terms of damage done, Earl's always been like either even or ahead, but like when it this, comes to the scramble at ledge, it still presents. That's when Dan has always found his opening. Maybe Earl's maybe, got it here. Maybe this, is, maybe this is why he wanted to go for it. Oh, he tried to do landing out there. He was, but um, maybe this is why he's going from, you know? Because the really one good. thing that he's been struggling with is sealing those blocks. So he has been getting the punishes that could potentially seal those blocks. But with this character, he can definitely do it with his whole tool. Uh, something I haven't seen much of from uh, Dan is just because the opportunity hasn't presented itself. There's a down throw double up air fair, which I think is the most busted. Oh my goodness! Let's go. That was a read. A read of reads. But like, at this percent, for example, it is true. You do a down throw, up air, up air. That second up air is landing, you get a fair. And if it's at the right part on screen, that's the stop. It is definitely. Nothing you can do. Trying to catch you with that is not going to get it. And now he gets gapped off the stage. This is a world that hasn't been in the spot for it. This was the correct hit right now. He's able to 
still goes stuff like that. Okay, he has been transitioning from more Lucina to more Chrom, so I think he's won a lot. I know a lot of people here say they'd rather fight his Chrom, uh, Lucina than his Chrom. I, I think the opposite, because I hate fighting Lucina, yeah, but that's yeah, just that's me. The up and it's like a few yeah. So like, sometimes you don't play the matchup. You don't play the matchup, you play like, you play comfort and you play like, whatever you feel the hottest with. Yeah, but right now, and it's kind of fun If he had the one right here, he was kind of dead because of the, uh, the LP thing. He died from the station with blood and he's still in painful enemy. So this is the last dot, but he's got quite a lead. He needs to. Slow, cool. Yeah, he gets one on there off that. Don't be... Don't be too antsy about matching out, because he might get... The only way he's getting more is if you, like, don't respect him getting that free up. So, get the upper. But this is Mario With Rage, maybe not. This, this is Mario we're talking about. He gets one from upper, one up, one, one up throw, and he just in the stage. And that platform is definitely going to get him killed. Up throw on a platform might be scary. Yeah, right now he's just trying to get him off stage. He's he's not a, yeah, he's not a percent anymore. 117%, he's off the stage. You know what? Is Carol going to do what is going to be? He's ledge trapping. He's going to go for the grab, reading the reaction to that neutral no get up. Still trying to get in. He rolls back into the stage. He said, Nature hit the that roll. Well, that's the backer. Yeah, that whiff of the grab into the backer going to take this game into Errol's pocket. 2 1 right now. Crumb seems to be the answer thus far. And shout outs to Dan's shirt. It is a really nice shirt. Yoshi. Oh my god. I speak from intense bias. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but it is a good shirt, regardless. Also, I don't know what Earl's necklace is, but I like it. It is really cool. It looks like... It looks like something special. Like it, but I'll, yeah. I will say something silly if I try to... I'll say something silly if I try to... Yeah, the space invader Oh my god. No, it's not. <laughs> no, of course it's not. <laughs> of course it's not. Oh, he tried to get the grab off of that, but he was like slightly airborne. Yeah, he didn't get hit by all of the hits of that yeah. LP, so not 26%. The inkling, which is landing back air into grab into whatever you want, uh, that's like, Mario has that, but you have to land the back air really low. And you have to like turn around the grab real quick. What, what is Errol doing right now? All of the buttons he is hitting him. Oh, yeah, like everything is pressing right now. It's so good. He's this able is to get good. out of those uh, upper strings and now he runs up and tries to read about uh, oh, the first. first. That would have been such a hard roll read. Yeah. He's on stage. Pretty even percent. Really good up here. Now he keeps him in this attention because he's going to lands on the platform. He gets a back and he's trying to stage. He tried to get the pivot until he's running forward to pivot like took a little bit too long and he was able to find him. Find a word in Definitely, and this is the scariest position for Tom to be in. He waits a little bit. Dan says, mm, I smell a roll. Goes to the other side. Stick to the static. And now a couple back here. Swing to 10 already. Yeah. You get, if you can get the rising back there, you can get the turnaround grab, but if you're a little bit high, you can get another one. Okay. Uh, rising stuff, rising aerials are, okay, are like pretty unsafe at super low percents. If you're not landing with them and you're not doing it, they're dead, obviously. Nice. It's Evening nice up the stock count. Not too much extra credit for uh, damage. But yeah, no, respect. Trying to go for the drop down there. Not a no jump. Not quite like Lucina's, where he can't move around as much as he's standing here. Yeah, because he's, uh, he fast forwards. So he doesn't have the freedom to move. And damage is a lot of extra percent there. And he's going for upbeats. He's going for whatever gets him more damage because he just wants this comfortable ahead. Yeah, and now this is getting scary because Errol is jumping way too much. And you know that upside is coming. You know that upset is coming. Okay. He's been scared about all the stuff that's been happening on the ground to him for like a lot of these stocks. So you want to jump. And there's a platform in the center that you can get to relatively safe. I understand. But then of course they start going for like the full hot back airs and he's hard. Definitely that man can be a tilt. Another F tilt and now he's off the stage. Try to go for the two frame. Can you two frame with that? I'm pretty sure. Good game. Uh, smash pushing away, but not enough for him to be able to go unpunished. That up smash gonna steal the second stock, and this is potentially uh, Errol's potential last stock. Yeah. And anyway, he lands on the platform, allowing him to get a few more aerials. Nice back into the back into the stage, and now he's gonna go into that next trap situation. Smash is gonna be good hit. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to get that trade, and this is the start. No, not yet. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah, I love the way he like this. Uh, uh, to get back in uh, I saw Dan with the knee slap. Uh, <laughs> just getting wet. Uh, but yeah, uh, if he drifted a little bit more forward, he knew he got it. He didn't get it. I love the fact that he has a 
his way of recovering has been incredible throughout this two, uh, two games. Yeah, like, no down Bs, no getting caught on the uh, air dodge ledge. It's possible. Oh, what's gonna happen? He still has a ledge. Another roll. This is the thing that I noticed to do. You know, in the first set, they the arrow was doing a lot of neutral get up into rolling six feet. This is something that Dan has been doing throughout oh. the whole set, but that up smash. And run off the platform. Run off platform. Yeah. This is gonna go 3 1 three, in one. Dan's favor. This was Grand Finals at Ignition in Chicago. This was a wild one, and I'm like, I'm glad you were able to show up and like show up and come. Yeah.